all right welcome back to an old gems of the battle realm video um it's been a while since i posted one of these and it's been a while since i've had this video like ready to go because as you can see from the loading screen yeah this has been in the vault for a while so yeah um like i said it's a, i took a break from youtube it was way too long and i shouldn't have you know taking that long of a break right but uh i'm back now and i got a lot of videos to cover but first i want to bring back this series because it's honestly one of my favorites i love videos that talk about like older characters that don't get much love today or like older characters that are slowly making a comeback and i feel like captain america infinity war is the latter because with this current alliance war attack tactic by the way that sp2 crit thing of beauty uh with the current alliance war attack tactic this character is seeing a lot more use and um yeah like with him being a seven star with him being a seven star that is kind of rare he doesn't get talked about as much but the fact that he's still a seven star and like if you do pull him He's good out of the gate for battlegrounds, but of course in like other content he does want that dupe for sure. But even then, like he is still a great seven star champion because of the stat focus mechanic and that extra crit rate doing numbers for him. So I feel like he is just a very cool character that deserves some respect even to this day. Back in like his prime, he was a deity. I think he was the best science champion in the game like besides quake but I, I was never a quake player so i was i would like always just default to um captain america i thought he was just the goat uh, i think he is still you know pretty pretty dang good but of course there are better science champions now however in like story content and in any quest where you can fit like two extra characters so like uh, so like alliance war included right i think he is still a very very strong champion i would say he's like on the tier list from like f to ss plus he's probably in like the s tier if you can fit a team with him now i've seen some pretty good cooks from him in like battlegrounds where uh yeah like if he gets a sp2 crit it is just incredible stuff however he does want to be rank three for that and like have that stat focus for crit rate so like if you don't fully invest in this champion he won't be like that reliable and even then he isn't too reliable on the sp2 crit because of the fact that uh crit res is like the most common the most common stat for like new defenders but like against these older defenders he still does very very well and in fights where like fight time doesn't matter where you can just take it slow and steady he does very well there as well so like alliance war unless like you are a sweat and like fight time does matter for you in that game mode but like for most people like fight time and alliance war isn't all that so like you can just take it slow and steady with this champion and like that's the pace that he likes he likes taking it slow and steady just doing parry heavy and keeping control keeping control of the fight so yeah I, I think that he's pretty cool um i think he's good for this tactic especially because if you can fit a tech champion which by the way the other attack tactic class is tech so most likely your team will be captain america plus a tech character and like any other class then you will be able to get the the heal block for the attack tactic really really quickly so yeah that's why he's so good this tactic right and i've seen him used a lot for like enchantress who is of course the new uh five out of five defender that people are always talking about like i see him used a lot for that uh one node where like I think it's like heavy hitter enchantress he is like the most used option so he does have a lot of value in the alliance war meta and i think he is going to do great things from like from this season and from next season so yeah i'm excited to see how this character does pan out but it's looking pretty good for our boy so yeah that, i think that's great and here Rintra drops the sp2 and we get the parry so he is now heal blocked and there we go one more heavy attack one more medium should do it not a bad fight it was 141 that's not a bad time either it's just you know he is a slow and steady character sometimes sometimes if he gets an sp2 crit he is not slow and steady he is fast he is a very fast champion but now we have this uh dormammu fight and this is where i love captain america the most because this is a quest where you can bring up to three characters and this is where you get to mix and match captain america and this is by far his best quality i would put him in the s tier or like the s plus tier even 
when he has his synergies and his teammates with him. And I think that's great for Captain America, like as a character, because, you know, he is a leader. He, he is a natural born leader, and it does make sense that the character does want, like, teammates alongside him. So, why I love captain america's signature ability so much is because it doesn't depend on the teammate used it just depends on the class of the teammate so for example cosmic i can bring odin and then i get odin's benefits from like you know his pre-fights and stuff so i get to add on some shock resistance and a great safety net now for the tech uh, teammate i can use captain america sam wilson so i get the petrify from the signature ability but then i also get the stagger from that synergy which is just insane like you know captain america is a very good champion but when you add stagger and like buff control onto captain america he becomes unreal like he becomes easily like ss tier it is it's insane stuff like I think he is fantastic because of his team building potential and that's why I value this character so high in these game modes and why I feel like in Battlegrounds, unless he gets that nasty crit, he does lose a lot of value because he doesn't have that petrify, that armor break, that weakness and he can't build around him either. So yeah, he is a very interesting character. I think the team building aspect of him is his best quality and if there is like, if there was um... If there was something that let Captain America gain his benefits based on the class types in your Battlegrounds deck, unreal. He'd be 10 out of 10 again. Like, absolutely, he'd be 10 out of 10. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have that, so we can't really, like, we can just imagine it, but that would be so, so cool to have, you know. Like, let's say you put in like every single class type so your captain america infinity war he's just gonna have like every single benefit so he has that purify he has that armor break the petrify the weakness it'll be insane like it'll be so so top tier but uh in battlegrounds he is just himself and that's also fine like he does have some nice utility bits by himself he does have access to perfect block he does have access to glancing which is great for a uh, like not taking too much chip damage he does have access to that unstoppable uh, nullify however a lot of unstoppable these days is passive which that's just like another case of captain america not not really catching up to the times right and that's okay he's an old character this is an old gems video it makes sense that he can't do that but he can crit on the sp2 and when he does it's beautiful <laughs> so yeah i think captain america such a such a fun character um but yeah, this fight's going pretty well. Havoc here is no big deal. I remember I remember back when this guy was like the weekly boss, people used Captain America the most for this fight, and like he still does it very, very well. And when you add these extra synergies, he just does it even better. So yeah, the fight's going pretty well. Like I said, it is a slow and steady fight that Captain America he is favored in he loves these slow and steady fights and that that's great it's just not really great when you don't get that crit in like battlegrounds but when you get it here it's just a thing of beauty <laughs> so yeah uh very very nice stuff and here he drops the sp2 again no big deal go back in get the reparry going captain america if you can reparry is beautiful because like for havoc for iron man infinity war those type of fights he does get that extra kinetic potential which is massive obviously uh there i go for the heavy attack again and i think it's time to wrap it up with an sp2 or an sp3 either one should work wonders for us uh but here he opt for the sp3 or no the sp2 i believe so let's see the damage output here no crit still a lot of damage like still really really good damage and i just play it safe i don't want to risk anything so i go for a combo into I could have done a relic there by the way i just don't know why i didn't but there i dropped the relic and the fury from the heavy attack actually does give the relic an extra damage boost it's crazy how like sometimes it works for uh relics like the damage boost from furies but other times it doesn't i don't know how it works i i like it's really weird stuff but yeah now we have some path bites here like i said captain america he is a quester i think I, I believe he's a quester. I know that I've seen some cooks in Battlegrounds with him, but I just think he was meant to be a quester. Right? Like, he was designed in 2018. That's when questing was the forefront of the game. Um, and I can appreciate how 7-star Captain America has translated pretty well into Battlegrounds. Uh, situationally, anyway, I think it's it's not like it's not easy to stop him, so he is pretty versatile in that game mode. It just comes down to those crits, really. 
and he's translated very well into the current Alliance War scene too, so even though he's 2018, he's still very very good. And since Alliance War will pretty much never like change their team size from like 3 to 1 or something, he will always be good in that game mode, which is really really important. So like having even any meta use for a 2018 champion, that is very very valuable. So now we have this other path fight here, uh, this is a nebula, no big deal. He's obviously great for path fights, great for questing because you can just build your team around him. And I will always love characters like this because I love team building aspects so much. It sucks that they are trying to take away synergies from the game. Like in the deep dives, they don't even mention them anymore because they just don't believe in synergies really. I, I just don't get it. Like. Synergies are such a cool part of the game, but yeah, every single month I just feel like they're trying to get rid of it uh, by, you know, doing one one man quests like the Crucible, for example, doing the Summer of Suffering every single week. It, it is kind of annoying, but it's it's okay because Alliance War can always just save Captain America. But yeah, this has the node that is, it's on the Namor boss in Act 7, where like every 20 seconds you have to drop a special attack during the timer, or like while the timer is expiring, and that gives you a Fury passive. Like, it's no big deal for Captain America, and yeah, the benefits are pretty massive, because that right there was a uh, 53,000 heavy attack, pretty crazy stuff. Then I dropped the SP2, and a beautiful 200,000 crit on the SP2. When this man crits, it is gold. If he had like a mechanic where he gains 700 crit rate per kinetic potential, actually no, he'd just be like a Stark Spidey 2.0, like they don't, I don't think they want that, cause Stark Spidey these days, you wanna talk about champions that aged well, oh my gosh, Stark Spidey is like the best battlegrounds attacker in the game and it's, it is honestly insane, but that's a different old gems video, that's gonna be a special one. But to end this video, I have this Warlock boss in the Eternity of Pain Gauntlet, and I think he is a fantastic option for this when you can build around him. Because with the Odin pre-fights, he counters Warlock's infection. With the Cosmic Synergy team, or like the Cosmic Synergy member, he has that armor break. He also has to petrify as well from Sam Wilson, and he also has the Nullify. So this is what I'm talking about. The team building makes this character into a god, like an absolute deity, right? And of course he is still very good without any of this because of like his very good base damage output, but this right here, this is what makes Captain America special to me. And I feel like to most people as well, but then again, we all find different values in different characters and like different reasons to appreciate characters. This is why I appreciate Captain America because they did him perfectly in my opinion. Like, having Captain America be all about building a team around him and, like, him having that leadership, it doesn't get any better than that. Like, I think this is one of the pinnacles of champion design, and I can, like, really, really appreciate that because, yeah, it just makes so much sense to have this character be all about leading a team and those team members building him up. So yeah, here we get the intercept, we drop the heavy attack, get that beautiful 293,000 crit, and yeah, this fight is going really, really well. Um, definitely one of the better options for this fight. And here he drops the SP2, no big deal. I go back in, get the intercept. I'm pretty sure, no, I play it safe, which is smart. I should, I should play it safe. Uh, but then we go for the intercept right here. Very cheeky in the corner intercept, but then we drop the relic into a heavy attack, or no, just into the SP2. Beautiful damage output, beautiful fight beautiful champion to be honest i think it doesn't really get better than this when it comes to champion design like of course you can argue that it isn't that good in 2024 because what he's designed for just isn't the meta in this game anymore but you gotta think about the fact that this is a 2018 champion and when it comes to 2018 standards this guy was the best. I think he was genuinely the best science champion in the game for those non-Quake players, so me. <laughs> but yeah, I just, I always will appreciate this champion because he's a pioneer, obviously. Like he, like that leadership signature ability, no one's ever done anything like that before. And it makes sense that he was the first one to do it. And of course in like 2024, if a champion had that type of synergy or like that type of signature ability, they'd be ridiculed, right? Because that just isn't the meta anymore. But we can still look back on this character and just appreciate the fact that 
hey when it was when it was like a synergy based game he was he was the king of it right but let me know your thoughts on captain america infinity war and yeah that's about it for me